Now, let me give you the figure how bad it is. 30%, one third of our children do not graduate from high school. And that's a good number. I've been in parts of the country where it's 50%, it's 40%. We're failing? Of course we're failing. How can we not fail when we make the number one priority in this country, the military industrial complex? We're spending more money on on our defense than all the rest of the world put together. There's no money left to make what should be the number one priority, and that's education. In Japan, children go to school at seven in the morning and at five. In the United States, they get off at three. In the United States, we have all summer off. That's no way to compete and succeed. We need to get off of this uh, agricultural educational design system we have. Teachers want to get paid, well let them work year round like the rest of the people. We need to have super teachers and we need competition in education. We're not getting that and we're going to continue to see the failure. It's not just throwing money at it because we see what happens in Washington DC. They throw all the money it needs and the money goes primarily to the administration and not to the education of children. We need to th rethink the way we finance education, and that is by a property tax that pays for it. Now, wealthy communities can have great education. Poor communities have n terrible education. That's because they don't have a property tax. And so what we're fed is, oh, this is a state matter. The federal government has to weigh in not only with money, but with some discipline to make our educational system work.